dog stretches. You know, start to walk. You're going to take your spine long and parallel to the floor as best you can, even if it's in your mind's eye. You're going to bend your knees so that you can actually sink your chest a little bit further towards the floor. So I want you to feel the stretch underneath your armpits. Have lymph nodes there in the creases by your hips and the creases under your arms. Women know that especially when we get our exams, right? They always check for the lymph nodes, the health of the lymph nodes. So that's what we're doing. We're stretching, releasing, flushing all of those little lymph nodes. Those are like the vacuum cleaners in your body. Just take it one more long breath. Imagine that someone's pulling you by the waist and you're holding on for dear life with your fingertips on the chair. You're getting so long and so tall. <coughs> and then look up at the chair. You're going to walk all the way up, all the way up, until we come on our tippy toes for upward facing dog. So this is one of the best stretches we can do for the front side of our bodies. So if you can hold on to the chair, all the better. But I know if you're tall, that's challenging. And then come down on your heels. We're going to rock down on the heels and up on the toes. Flex the toes, yeah, very good. That strengthens those calves. And then we're up again, come up, strengthens the ankles, good. Bring it down and just rock back and forth. Yeah, a couple toes, good. And next time we're up on our tippy toes, let's hold it. And let's see if we can take one arm up, really, really reach it. And what do you think? Do you think we can do the other arm? Let's try it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good for a moment. Very good. And down. See, everyone's a ballerina today. Okay, so take one leg out, shake it. So important for our balance to kind of challenge ourselves now and then. Good. Okay, so a little cat cow. So you want to actually walk away from the chair, maybe about a foot or two. Your feet are parallel, your arms are parallel. And we're going to take a little inhale. It's almost like an upward facing dog. We're inhaling. And then when we exhale, we're going to tuck the chin, round the shoulders a little bit, and you can even bend your knees. And this doesn't have to be a super duper kind of exaggerated motion. It's just kind of moving into the vertebra gent gently, opening and closing. Now some of us might have some fused discs, so just be, just be aware of that if you're getting into a space that's a little tight. But otherwise, in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine what a skeleton looks like, the spine and all those little vertebrae, the open and close and the discs that are inside of it. That's where we're working right there back to the center, walk up a little bit because we're going to balance next. We're going to take the right hand up so the thumb is facing up and the left one's going to go back. Just hold. Beautiful. This is called balancing cat or sometimes it's sunbird. Good. And then release it and now to the other side. So left hand up, right hand back. Release it. Now we're going to try a, a little bit tricky balance. So let's take right hand up, left foot. What about that left hand off? For a moment, off. For a moment, off. Whatever you got, just try it. Good, and release it. Good. Oh, you got the wall you get to use, huh? Yeah. Okay, left hand off. Left foot back. Yeah. And this is just being playful, right? It's not a stressful thing like, oh no, what am I going to do? So, you know, one hand off, just a, just a second. Just kind of feel it, maybe reach it for a second. Okay, so we're going to counter that nice little back bend that we just did with the downward facing dog. So just walk back, stretch it out, make sure your knees are nice and bent. So I don't want anybody's knees to be locked, especially not locked. That's one of the worst things you can do for your beautiful knees. So keep them a little bent. Maybe even bend one knee a little bit more than the other and you're walking your dog, going up and down on your heel. Forward again, so we'll come to the chair, take one leg out, shake a little bit, and the other leg out, shake. 